What's going on Neon Nation, welcome back to the Neon Arcade for some quick lore on the foods of cyberpunk. The economy of the US in the 20th century was largely driven by food and food related industries. Due to the collapse however, Americans in 2020 have slowly but surely regained the power to quell the hunger and famines brought about by this disaster. The farm economy has changed direction from food to fuel centric and thus most Americans in 2020 eat manufactured foods. These foods vary slightly in quality and quantity, but kibble is the most prevalent and the basis for many other manufactured foods. The American diet is made up of almost 20 manufactured foods now, and kibble is by far the simplest. Kibble was designed by Purina Foods for the South American relief effort due to the effect of the Central American Wars. The consistency is similar to animal foods, but also provides a full day supply of all major vitamins and mineral compounds along with a small amount of complete proteins and amino acids. Scop is another integral part of the American diet just because of how diverse it can be. Scop, which stands for single cell organic proteins, can be tailored to fit any taste or preference from chicken scop to burger scop to cheese scop. Soya has also been engineered to fit into many of the vegetable protein foods that are currently available. As V wakes up in the 48 minute demo, we see kibble and scop on her shelf behind the bed. When it comes to fresh food, this is still available if you're the average millionaire. Statistically, as little as 3% of the total population eats fresh food more than once or twice per year. Massive burials and bioplagues have tainted the natural groundwater in the states, and thus fresh food has to be grown in indoor hydroponic gardens, which have skyrocketed its prices. The majority of fresh food consumed is imported from Europe and Canada, the new bread baskets of the world. In 2020, almost all the food consumed is eaten out. Vendors flood many streets and although most vendors sell hand foods and prepack, fresh soup and noodles are also available. Real fresh food is reserved for the highest end restaurants. In the Cyberpunk 2077 deep dive demo, we know that the Voodoo Boys and Placide keep chickens, which are illegal due to pandemics related to animals. Synthetic meat is also produced at the All Foods plant so it seems like things have changed slightly, at least in outwards appearances, as the timeline has moved on. Combined foods and other seemingly larger grocery stores seem to pop up in the 2077 content we've seen thus far, and we do see pad thai and noodles being offered in the street, meaning kibble might be less necessary as Night City repairs and heals from the age of the red and the 50 plus years since the collapse. Thank you guys for watching, and for more cyberpunk, join Neon Nation by subscribing to the Neon Arcade.